Welcome back. As it turned out, I did not have time to play the rest of the new bots yesterday, but I'm going to keep going today. Uh, again, I don't know if they're new bots or just new to me. I just noticed them. There's the coach bots here on chess.com. In my previous video, I played Coach Danny from the United States, rated 1400. And today I'm going to play Coach May from Japan, rated 800. And Coach May is quite a bit cuter than Danny. I'll try not to let that distract me. Did I say that out loud? Well, I guess that's one way to find out if my wife watches this channel. Let's choose this bot and I'll let the computer choose the colors. Challenge of no challenge, no help of any kind and click play. I'll start with D4. And as with all the lower rated bots, what we're going to do is wait and see when the bot blunders. Uh, we'll just try to play solidly until then. This is, as I now know, the Dutch defense. I think I have struggled against it. I'm not sure exactly how to play against it. Black seems to do pretty well against me with the Dutch defense. I think that's normal too. Uh, although very often I see this knight come out here to f6 and then often the, the g-pawn gets pushed here and then the bishop comes out. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to put this knight in here. Am I supposed, maybe I should put this bishop here? Wait, no, if I, if I put my bishop on g5, then they will just block with their bishop, I think. But then I can just trade that off, right? Because in these openings, it's this dark squared bishop that I... That's a problem. Maybe. I don't know. Let's do it. See what they do. See which piece they block with. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and trade those off. And I think I can play c4 here, but I'm not sure. Let's just do it. Okay. g5 was a bit of a surprise. I was going to put my knight on c3, but now it looks like this pawn is almost down here. Should I wait until the pawn comes down before I do anything about it? Because I think I can always escape here and then back there if I need to. I think I'll wait and see what they do with those two pawns. I'm going to go ahead and play knight to c3, which will protect an e4 push. All right. a5. Don't know about that. I think if we play here, ah, then they can exchange this pawn for mine and and I can take. But it'll, it'll, it will allow me to get this light squared bishop out, which I want to do so I can castle. So let's do that. If they take, I will capture. I don't want to take them. I'm pretty sure of that because... Because then when they take back, I'll be in check. So let's go ahead and put another defender on that square. Or should we not because this knight's coming in here? Yeah, I think that knight might be coming in there. And then where am I going to do with that bishop? Let's uh, prevent that knight from coming in here by playing a3. Okay, lots of pawn pushes by this bot. I'm not sure how May as a coach playing like this. That's got to be a mistake. And now I'm not sure if I want a castle in the middle of all these, all these pawns coming down. Should I go ahead and put my knight in here now, which will prepare a check? Let's do that. Preparing a check. Um, I don't think that stopped my check. I'm going to go ahead and check over here. And the king, I guess they could block with the queen, but then that would be a problem. And then the king can move out of the way. It did. I can check again, but that just loses a knight. I can maybe now break this open. Or can I check again? I can. And that, that would force the king back to where it was. Then what would I do? Yeah, that's all that does. If I check again here, it forces the king to one of these two squares. And then I could move the knight and it would be a discover check once more. But I don't think that would accomplish anything. So I am going to castle. And that will put my rook right here. Or should I castle the other way? That seems dangerous with this pawn about to move. And then the queen could come in here and that would be a check. And I'd have to take. And Or should I just move my king? Or take this pawn? Let's take the pawn really have no idea. Well, I can take that pawn now with my bishop, which will protect this square, but they have two pieces pointed at that square. I would like to have a protection for that square, and I think the best way to do that is castle. Let me get my correct button here. If I castle, my rook will be out here, and I can move it over to e1, and then my rook will be pointed right there, which I would like my queen to end up on. That's my plan at the moment. Let's see how that works. That didn't appear to do anything except possibly free this bishop to point at my king. But I'm going to go ahead and move my rook over one. I don't think it's in danger there, and it is... So it's pointed down here once I move this knight. Okay, they've threatened my queen. See, now if I check, the king has another option. So I shouldn't do that. All right, well, now I need to, to bring my queen out of here. I think all the way back to e2 would probably be best, because that knight's not only threatening my queen, it is protecting that square. So I think that was a pretty good move on the bot's part. I, I am not certain, but I think it is. Let's come back here, see where their knight's going to go. Okay, they did get that bishop out, and they still have two pieces guarding that square. And now I think they're prepared to put this rook here, 
where my queen is pointed. I do have a free bishop though. So why don't I take, I mean a free pawn. That's not a bishop, is it? That's a pawn and that attacks the rook. So I think, I think black should respond to that, but I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. Well, that can't be good. My plan, let's see, what is my plan? I'm a pawn up. I can, I can take the rook for the bishop and as an exchange, or I can move my knight out of the way of this battery, put my opponent in check again, and they won't be able to take the knight because the bishop's guarding the knight, but they would have to move back there. Oh, well, they could also move there or there or there. So black, black would have four choices if I moved the knight out of the way, but is there a better way to move it out of the way? Because I don't think it's here. Or, sh or should, I just take the, should I just take the rook now and then move the knight out of the way? I think so. I'm going to take the rook first. Then when I move the knight, it will be check. And I could put it here, but then the king can go there. And I'm not threatening anything specifically. Although if the king does go there, uh, I would have a check here protected by my rook. But then they could take the knight. And now my bishop isn't guarding that square anymore. So maybe put it here. If I put the knight on g Four, that will be a check. Then if the king goes this way, I will be free to come in and the knight would be ready to jump in to help at some point. And I'll be threatening to trade off with that knight. Let's try that. Check. Okay, they went back there. That's probably good because th their queen now protects this spot. But now I can take the knight and they're not protecting it anymore. So I'm going to go up another... I was up one exchange and a pawn. Now I'm going to go up a whole piece, I think. And it will be threatening the queen. Where will the queen move? moved there okay not bad i that piece is still protected so i shouldn't go there and i'm still watching this bishop but right now i don't think it can do much i can stop the bishop by playing this pawn but right now my knight's in danger so i should probably move it or protect it should i try to protect it somehow well i'm not going to protect it that way or or there so if i move it here if i put the knight on g4 now i guess they could push a pawn to threaten it but then i could bring it back here to e3 or i could just put it on e4 now but then that allows the pin again. That's okay. I can just move my queen in that case. And I don't think I, anything over here is being threatened. Ex oh, that pawn? Oh, no, my queen's protecting that pawn. Okay, I'm going to come back here. I don't know if they'll trade off their light squared bishop for it. They did put the rook there. Well, that's kind of what I thought they did. But I'm going to move out of this pin now. Now if they take, I can take back with the knight or the rook. And I'm still protecting this pawn. Now what's that about? Why, why would they put the rook there? Well, since I'm up a piece and an exchange, I think I, I think I might want to trade off the rooks at this point, but I'm not sure entirely how. Well, I could stop, put a stop to that bishop this way, a temporary stop. They can always push a pawn. That does allow the knight here, but I can always trade for the knight. Or should I put that knight there, aiming for this pawn and the rook? Because they, they, I don't think they can protect both of them. Well, I mean, they can move the rook, but then I would still get that pawn. Oh no, that pawn is, is protected. Okay. Wow. So this would only be threatening the rook. And then where would the rook move? They could ch they could trade here, I guess. But then the queen would get that pawn. I would go down a pawn there. Well, I'm not sure then. I could always do this, hoping for a trade here to get my rook opened, uh, open file. Or should I bring this rook over somehow? I don't know. I'm going to play b4. See what happens. They took it. I took back. Oh, now they can take that and threaten my queen. Nice. Wow. Okay. Well, I, I messed that up, didn't I? I still have, even without the queen, I still have two pieces defending the knight. Okay. Or I could I could put the knight, or the queen down here, threatening that. Oh, they took the pawn, and now I'm not threatening that anymore. Okay, and now that pawn's not protected. Well, I, I might have messed up. Because if I go here to threaten the queen, they're just going to take that pawn. Maybe I shouldn't have played b4. I can threaten the bishop, but then it's going to take my knight, right? I don't know. Let's do it. It's an 800 rated bot. I, I can't believe I'm having this much trouble with it. Okay, they, they took the free pawn, but gave up the bishop, which I will now take. Aiming for a check here. Okay. Not sure about all the other mistakes or inaccuracies that this bot has made, but I'm pretty sure that's a blunder. Because when I check here, and if they move out of check, I'd win the queen. But if they block with the rook, I'm just going to take it. And I'm still up a piece, at least. Okay. We'll see if they block with the rook. I... They did not. Okay. Well, let's take the queen. And then we're going to take this knight. Aiming at the rook. Okay, it moved. Let's check here, and then we're aiming at that pawn. Okay, let's take the pawn. And then check. 
It has to go one way or the other, doesn't it? It went that way. Check. And... I touched the rook, didn't I? I'm trying to play by touch remove rules, so I'm going to lose the knight here, which is okay. And then the king has to go there. And then it has to go here. And I think that's made. All right, 37 moves. I have a feeling I made some blunders and or mistakes in this game, so I'm going to run the game review to find out. Okay, the game review has run. I didn't do as poorly as I thought. According to the graph at the top, I was ahead the whole time, at least after about, looks like, move seven or so. And I played with an 84% accuracy with three misses. Zero mistakes, zero blunders. Now, we do know that misses are counted by Stockfish as blunders, but by this game review, they mean something else, and I'm not sure exactly what. I'm going to click Start Review, and we'll go through. Oh, that was actually a book move. I had no idea. It says this is the Dutch defense opening. You've played this opening 20 times with a 60% win rate. Well, I don't know if that means when I, because I think I played the Dutch several times as black, and I'm pretty sure I faced it at least 20 times as white. So I, I think the opening explorer on chess.com is just as messed up as some of the other things on their site. And I'm pretty sure I do not have a very good win rate with it. I think 60% is a made up number. I can click on it. If I click on it, will it, will it tell me those games? Let's see. My games, all games, white. Well, I no, no games with this position found in the database. Oh, this was saying definitely as white. Okay, well, let's back up then. Can we back up? Okay, I did win one game against Riki Gamma Man in this position. Okay, back up. Still only one game from that position. Okay, two games here, and I did win both of them, so I might have been wrong. Let's see, from this position. Okay, this is the basic Dutch defense. And it says I've played seven games where the next move was bishop to g5, four games where the next move was c4, and one game where my next move was knight to f3, according to this. Wait, then how did I reach that position against Reiki Gamma Man if my next move against him was in f3? Also, that's only 11 games, 12. That's not 20. Okay, so yeah, the opening explorer is messed up. And uh, I'm going to go back to the game I was just analyzing and click next. That was an inaccuracy. Usually the game review does not stop on inaccuracies, but maybe because I had no mistakes and blunders, it's going to pick some inaccuracies to stop on. I lost my advantage. Okay. Well, before that then, they played an inaccuracy and I should have done something else that was not that. Okay. Should, is this where I should have gotten my bishop out? Because I was worried that their, their knight was going to come here and try to get this bishop. Okay, I don't know what it was. Let's click the hint button. Oh, I, I, sh I should have played c5. Okay, I, I mean, I get that that blocks the queen from defending that square, but still, won't they, won't they just do something like this? Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, that was a great move. And I had a plus four, almost plus five at that point. Okay, well, good. I, I don't need to share that. That would be silly to share that on Twitter. Okay, uh, next key move. That was best. Plus, almost plus six. Okay. That was an inaccuracy. Should I have just pushed the pawn? I didn't think so. They have two pieces pointed, three pieces. You count the queen pointing at that square. Pretty sure I shouldn't have gone here because then they would have forked me with their knight. Guess I could have... No, that would have been horrible. Uh, F3 would have been bad because then when they took the pawn, it would have been check. But what should I have done? I have no idea. Oh, I should have just gone up to here, to H, to A4. Um, okay, let's say I went to A4. I guess they could still take that pawn, but then I could take the knight. Wouldn't they just move the knight back at that point to some place? Oh, no, they wouldn't because their queen's in danger. Okay, I, w I get the knight either way. Oh, wait, couldn't they protect the knight this way? But then I would take it with that pawn, but then they would take here, and it, the knight would still be protected. Maybe. I, I don't know. That was best. I, well, I thought it was. They just hung their bishop, so... Where's, okay, finally a miss. Retry. I have a mate in two. Wait, I, oh, I had a mate in two that was, that was better than that. Oh, I could have, I could have checked there. I could have checked there. That's what it was. I bet, I bet it was knight to h7 because my queen cuts off all those squares. The king would have been forced over to g8 and then the rook taking their rook would have been checkmate. Oh, that says that's excellent. Wait, it wasn't best? What was best? 
Oh, taking taking the rook now. Well, then how is that made in two? That would be made in one. I I th I think that symbol there was was misleading where it says made in two, but that's only one miss. Or that's just one miss. It said I had three misses. Where are they? There, there's just one. Well, I'm confused, but I, I'm, I'm glad I won, and thank you for watching. We will see you next time, but next time I want the number of misses in this list up here to match the number of misses in the, in the moves, right? That, that's the only miss. I had a maiden one and didn't see it. I think I already said it, but I will see you next time.